You're all smiley today. Yeah. What's up? Strudel. Strudel time. Apple strudel. <laughs> yeah, strudel Your time. signature. Yeah, my uh -huh. signature. Signature well, dessert. I want to say, usually I use puff pastry. Yeah. I don't make my own because you get very yeah. good puff pastry you can buy in the store. And I yeah. just don't have the time. I'm too busy here. But what happened to me, I... Um, couldn't get puff pastry, I didn't see it, grabbed the wrong one, and yeah. ended up with phyllo pastry. Okay, phyllo? Phyllo, which is a very, very nice thin dough. We won't show this to anybody in Austria, probably. No, they do it too. They do but it too? Yeah, yeah. Okay, okay yeah. so look at these paper thin sheets here. Yeah. Okay. Okay. And what you do is you put one sheet down. Yeah. Brush it with melted butter. Okay. Next sheet, next cheek drop, and yeah. Uh, three sheets here already, so yeah. now I'm going to put the fourth sheet on. Yeah. I'll just show you how that works. Mm -hmm. You put some butter on. Okay. Mm -hmm. And that kind of glues it together and makes it very flaky because the butter in between the sheets will start to boil when it's yeah. cooking and yeah. the, uh, the milk solids will start to cook. And that separates the sheets and makes it fluffy, right? Okay. So here we have the fifth sheet. Put it down. So you use five sheets? Five sheets I find is good. Yeah. Yeah. So anyhow, here I if have If you had my one more, you could be mixture. six sheets to the wind. Six sheets to the wind. <laughs> Three sheets to the wind, Three wasn't sheets. it? Wasn't it? Well, wasn't that's it only for, <laughs> for amateurs. <laughs> so here we have a mixture of yeah. roasted hazelnuts ground. Okay. Uh, together with butter, melted butter, yeah. and um, icing sugar. And I put a little bit of, I always make a full bunch of this. Yeah. And then I put a little bit of lemon juice in and some almond extract, okay? Okay. And here we have this. These are clear apples. Clear apples. The first apples of the season. Okay. Um, and they don't last long. They don't keep long. You have to yeah. use them right away. They're very good for apple strudel. Yeah, they're green, and, right? Yeah, they're green. Mm -hmm. And I'll just put it straight on here. Yeah. And how many do you use? Well, we'll see how many we need. Okay. This is the baking area in the Veni Vidi Clarksy kitchen. Yeah. It's got a stone top on the cupboard. Yeah, it's a marble. And why did why is that? So that it keeps the dough cool. Okay. Yeah. As opposed to wood or arborite, yeah. it's just not as cool. The stone is always cool. Okay. So let's see. We have two. And what I'm going to do, usually you put raisins on top and then cinnamon, mm -hmm. but I have some raisins here. If you want to have a look, just put the raisins in a jar okay. and fill it up with rum. Uh oh, yeah. that is three yeah. sheets to the wind. Yeah. <laughs> Those raisins and are three sheets to the wind. So I'm going to use that. That's also nice in the winter to put it in some tea, you know, before Christmas, kind of as a treat. Rum and raisin in the rum tea? Rum and raisin in the tea, yeah. So mm -hmm. see, I have three apples, and I could do another little one, of course, one here. Looks like you've done that it, before. Make it really nice, and, you know, it shouldn't be, you shouldn't have a feeling somebody was skimping. Okay. Right? Why can't you use canned apples like everybody else? Uh, they're soggy, and they make everything soggy, and yeah. you, they just don't taste good. You need the freshness, crispness of fresh apples. Yeah. Okay. So now, I'll put this on top here, a few raisins. Yeah. Where's the rum? Which I don't do all the time, normally I don't. But I, I do because I can, because I have them. Yeah. And then I'll take cinnamon, lots of cinnamon. Okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And you start rolling it up, jelly roll style. Okay. Like this, this, mm -hmm. this, this, mm -hmm. and I kind of wing it here a little bit, I just push it in, okay. go like this, set it on my tray, and kind of crimp the ends together, brush it with butter, which you don't have to do when you have puff pastry, 
Right. You don't brush it with butter, but this one you have to, otherwise it cracks. Okay. Yeah. And it goes in the oven for about half an hour. In my convection oven, um, commercial one, you probably have 400 degrees or 425 in yeah. a regular oven for about 40 minutes. But you'll see, once it's brown, it's done. Yeah. Nice okay. and crispy, right? Okay. Okay? Get to see me in the mirror, too. Yeah. I'll probably scare all the ladies. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, we'll so be back to eat it. Yeah, yeah, thanks. Thank you. And you're going to put it in your monster oh, oven here. Right you're the envy of everybody with that. I have to do 375 yeah. because it's quite hot. Yeah. So, but in a regular one, you, you use a little higher heat. Okay. okay, we'll be back shortly. So here's Thank the strudel you. out of the oven now. Mm -hmm. Boy, I can hardly wait to taste that. I see the yeah. nice juice is running out the ends a little bit. Yeah. Very good. So this is a man-sized piece of Vanessa's famous <laughs> Austrian apple strudel. How did you get so good at apple strudel, <laughs> Vanessa? I don't know. I think it's in my genes. <laughs> <laughs> Every Austrian gets an apple strudel gene. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Yeah. It flows through your DNA yes, and your blood. Yeah. 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 And uh, mit Schlag, what does that mean? Schlag. Schlag, mit Schlag. <laughs> Schlag which means whipped cream. <laughs> whipped cream. Mm -hmm. So do you use um, breadcrumb filler in your apple, apple strudel? No, that's the old way. We, we don't do. We just use straight roasted hazelnuts or almonds. Really? Mm -hmm. And nut filling? And mm -hmm. And what Not sort of apples filling. do you use mostly? Well, um, you can't always get um, the the clear apples in the in the first apples of the season are very good. Yeah. And in the fall, Bosco apples are very yeah. very good for it. But most of the time, you can't get them. So Granny Smith will do. Green a green mm. apple and rather than a red. Green, yeah, if you yeah. can. But What's you can't take any apple, of course. But yeah. the best ones are those. Those, um, a those crisp, straight. crisp yeah. apple. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Crisp. You want a little, you want a little, yeah, Christmas sourness to it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. so you don't want um, a, a sweet apple like Gela or anything like that. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Because it gets too soft. Yeah, too soft, and you you want this contrast between the nut and the sugar, and the kind of sour apple. There's also yeah. a little lemon juice in. So. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, do you ever use apple filling from the can? <laughs> <laughs> You're very funny today, dude. <laughs> <laughs> who, okay. who does that? Oh, lots of people. Yeah, really? Yeah, everywhere <laughs> okay. else, Starbucks. Okay, everywhere. no, anyhow, we don't do that. So. No? <laughs> okay. Yeah. All right. Thank you.